Paradigms control the results in your life. They have the power over everything. Relationships, your income, and you know when you shift your paradigm, everything in your life improves. Hello, I'm Bob Proctor, and I want to welcome you to Paradigm Shift, where we're going to teach you how to make dramatic improvements in the quality of your life, in every aspect of your life. You know, paradigm shifting is something that, that we should teach in school. We should teach it to little kids, and they'd get it, and then they'd have a charmed life. If you want to improve the results, the paradigm has to be shifted. Do you know, Eric Hoffer one time said, no matter what our achievements might be, we think well of ourselves only in rare moments. We need people to bear witness against our inner judge who keeps book on our shortcomings and transgressions. We need people to convince us that we are not as bad as we think we are. Do you know, Eric Hoffer was a wise man, and I, I think that he hit the nail right on the head here. Who do you think that inner judge is? You know, that little voice inside that's telling you, you can't do this or you can't do that. You can't do many of the things you say you want to do. Well, I suppose the, the real secret is figuring out what you want to do and then understand clearly how to get rid of that little voice inside. Now, I don't know as we ever completely get rid of it. I refer to it as the monkeys in our mind that, that keep talking to us, telling us what we can't do. But I do know this, that we can overpower them. We can take control over the quality of our life. You know, winning and losing have been taught about for, I guess, as far back in recorded history as you can go. And there are some people, they're just winners. You see it, you see what they do. It doesn't matter what they seem to do. You knew kids like this when you were in school. They aced all the exams. Quite frankly, I never liked those kids very well. And for good reason. They made me look worse than I even was. But why is it that some people are always winning and others are always losing. Well, you'll say they're just stupid, but that's not true. That's not true. Do you know that some of the people that are losing are absolutely brilliant? It's true. And some of the people who are winning are not very bright at all. Do you know that there's people who are absolutely brilliant and they're broke? And there's others who are functionally illiterate. They can neither read nor write, but they can sign a check for a million dollars. I remember one time at a a meeting in Chicago, W. Clement Stone. This was back in 1970, and in 1970, he was the wealthiest man in the United States. He made a lot of grammatical errors when he spoke, but as Earl Nightingale said, he can write a check for a billion dollars. Now think about that for a moment. Why is it that someone never goes to school, they're not very polished, and yet they're enormous winners? And other people who are, they have degrees coming right off the end of their business card. And they just can't seem to make it. Why? Well, you know, most people just set that aside. And they think there isn't an answer to it. Well, I'm going to tell you there is an answer to it. And it's an answer that everyone can understand. And I believe when we understand it, everything in our life starts to change. You see, I was one of those people that was always losing. Didn't matter what I did from the time I was a little kid in school, until I was 26, didn't matter what I did, it, it just didn't work out right. I was never part of the group that was making it happen. And then all of a sudden, just like that, my whole world started to change, and I started to win. Didn't matter what I did, what I touched, it just seemed to turn to gold. What happened? Well, that's what I wanted to know. And I couldn't figure out what happened. You know, I, I knew I wasn't lucky. I really... I seem to have an innate awareness inside that there wasn't any such thing as luck, regardless of how much you want to believe it. And I thought, someone has to know what the heck happened to me. Now, a man named Ray Stanford suggested I read Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. I have become um, an avid student of Napoleon Hill and his mentor, Andrew Carnegie. I have never laid these books down. I have never stopped studying them. But at any rate, I picked them up and everything started to change. Changed like night and day. Then I got into Earl Nightingale's condensed narration of Napoleon Hill's book. And I started to listen to that record. Now, I was doing something that was very, very strange. No one else was doing it. I was driving around with a portable record player that operated on flashlight batteries, 
listening to a long playing record. Now, you might not even know what a record is. They're so long gone. But I was driving around playing them. And I was playing the same record over and over and over again. And I kept reading the same book over and over and over again. In fact, it was the first book I ever read. Now, I have a wonderful library of books in my home today. I have three or 4,000 books. But this was the first book I read. And I couldn't seem to lay it down. I have never stopped reading that book. And I kept listening to this record. Now, what I was doing, I was writing a new program for my life. It was so totally strange what I was doing. People really couldn't understand it. I didn't understand it myself. They were wondering what was happening to me. But you know, I was moving from the category of losing to the category of winning. I wasn't getting sick anymore. I had an abundance of energy. I could make money. I think earning money is probably one of the simplest things in the world to do when you learn how to earn it. But until you learn how to earn it, it's not one of the simplest things in the world to do. Well, why is it that some win and some lose? And it's got nothing to do with intelligence. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with your background. You know, you could have a brilliant background and still lose. You could have a terrible background and still win. As a matter of fact, um, I started to teach this around 38 years ago, and I was testing this in different areas. I even used to go into prisons and teach this. I had people that were paroled to me, where they, I had them tear up the parole so that they'd get a passport and I could take them off to another country where we were opening business. And I found that it didn't matter who you were or what had gone on in the past, you could win. You could be young, you could be old. You could be male or female. You may be uh, an intellectual giant or maybe not very bright at all. None of those things have anything to do with winning. Now, most people will tell you they do. I think they can contribute, but they certainly don't control it. Paradigms are going to make you or break you. And it's a strange thing. The average individual couldn't even tell you what a paradigm is. Now, understand this. It's your choice whether they make you or break you. It's your choice. But here's another point. There is absolutely no allowance for ignorance. You say, but I don't understand. That's too bad. You still lose. I want you to think of something not too positive, but a little baby, you hear them falling out of windows and off balconies. The babies don't stay suspended in space until somebody comes along that understands the law of gravity. That law that states anything heavier than air is attracted towards the center of the world. That baby goes down and gets hurt or killed. You'd say, but the baby doesn't understand. It's too bad. There is no allowance for ignorance. Well, there's laws of this universe. The whole universe operates by laws. Dr. Werner von Braun said that the natural laws of this universe are so precise that we don't even have any difficulty today building spaceships. We can send people to the moon and we can time the landing with the precision of a fraction of a second. He also said these laws must have been set by someone. He said after studying the spectacular mysteries of the universe, he was led into a firm belief, belief in the existence of God. Now here's a scientist one of the most brilliant in the world, the father of the space program. We well, see God operates by laws. Everything operates in precise order. And you know something? You've got a control mechanism in you, but you were given the ability to control it. That's right. Now, somebody else may have programmed you, but you've got the ability to change it. So it's your choice whether your paradigm makes you or breaks you. You see, I was losing till I was 26. And then all of a sudden, I started to do things right, and I started winning. Now, what I was doing, I didn't know. People asked me what I was doing, and I, and I really couldn't tell them. Here's another strange thing I've learned. Most people that are highly successful cannot articulate in why they are. I was doing a seminar in New York a number of years ago at the Waldorf Astoria. And a man came up to me at the end of the seminar, a great big guy. And he said, you know, and he said, I've really enjoyed this. He was in there for two or three days. He said, I finally understood what I did. And I said, what'd you do? He said, I won the gold medal in the decathlon.